This video is sponsored by Into the AM. This is the biggest purchasable Warhammer miniature Games Workshop ever made. With its 12 kilos of resin and big enough to fill an entire army, it's a true behemoth. A few weeks back, we finally finished painting the outside, but let's be honest, that's only half of the miniature. The miniature have a fully designed interior. A bottom deck with room for four tanks and a bunch of battle suits. But we also have an upper deck with seat for 48 fire warriors as well as an ethereal. We also have a cockpit as well as a machine engine room, whatever it is. And considering how much time we actually spent on this build, to this date it's about 69,420 days of work. Spent on cleaning it up, building it up, sewing it apart, painting it up, building a diorama, building two dioramas inside of the diorama, mountains, a makeshift camp, two resin lakes, just to mention a few other things. So, as you understand, we can't just leave the inside unpainted. No way, not this time, not a chance. I especially feel because whoever makes their way to see this and have the chance to lift up all of the things, we want them to really feel immersed in the world that we've created. So, let's not disappoint. What do you want to start with? I want to start with the inside of this one. I think since we started with the bottom side, but it's not quite finished, maybe I can continue with that then. So this thing obviously looks quite decent already, but I do want to add some extra things. A battle suit or something that's kind of crashed and broken on the side. Maybe we'll hang one of them up here. As well as I want to add some growth, so maybe boots and moss and stuff. I don't know. Let's see where it goes. While Emil is finishing off the lower deck, I'm gonna start making the crew members for the upper deck. And for that, we're gonna use the seated fire warriors, snip off the heads, and replace them with the dead fire warrior heads from the skull kit from Games Workshop. Let's go! Okay, so we got some base stuff added into the bottom. Now I'm gonna build a few of these battle suits and I'm gonna make them look a little bit broken, maybe cut up some arms, have some cables run down from them. So it looks uh, cool and crashed in there. And then I'm gonna give them to Lucas so he can uh, continue with his painting. In just a few seconds, I'm gonna hand the robot to Lucas so we can paint it up. But first, let me tell you about the awesome t-shirts that I've been wearing throughout this video. Into the AM is this week's sponsor and they make some of the coolest graphic t-shirts as well as full body prints, as well as simpler t-shirts that not only look good, but also for a tall guy like me that's almost six foot five. And I've had some serious troubles with the length of my shirts that they often end up somewhere here, just below my belly. But with these, I don't have a problem. They're a little bit taller and I really love them for that. Now, if you want to try out these awesome graphic t-shirts like this one, they have three shirts for $60. And if you want the more plain ones that are super comfy for $49.95, and even better yet, if you use the code SQUIDMART, you get 10% off your entire purchase, meaning that they get even cheaper. So check out the link down below to Into the AM and their awesome looking t-shirts. You're not gonna regret it. Now, let's see what Lucas do with these tiny, tiny robots. 
So I am done with what I can do until this stage with the bottom part of the deck. So I'm gonna continue where Lucas ended and I'm gonna start painting the seats, ethereal seat and uh, everything like that. I don't know if I can make it look amazing, but I'm gonna try. I had this idea, I want to add something more in there. I want to add sort of like a screen. It's gonna look awesome. And now, it's robot time. <laughs> Lucas, are you done? You can be done. Yeah, I only have one guy left. Yeah, <laughs> now you have a TV to paint to. So I just spent far too many hours painting the inside of the Manta, the chairs, there's 46 of them. And it took uh, many hours, just to say the least. I think it's looking quite good, but I feel like it's way too clean, especially compared to the underbelly of the Manta. So I'm gonna do the same as I did with the bottom deck. I'm gonna add some moss, some roots, so that we can later add pigments and vines and stuff to make it feel like it's been out for many a years. So I'm just gonna bring out the stuff I need and get at it. I just finished painting these guys, the fire warriors. Let's glue them in place. Pigment time!
Okay, we're getting really close to done. I'm going to use some of these cotton threads, add some ink and PVA glue and create the, the final kind of epic detail on top of the first deck and bottom deck. So I think that's gonna be the last thing I do. Today. The insides are done! Woo! Woo! That means that next week we gotta put everything together and the whole diorama is gonna be done. I don't know, it's like 14 months of working on this. It's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel weird. But dudes, let us thank our awesome patrons. Without you guys, we would not have money and eat food. So, thank you for that. Don't forget to subscribe, because otherwise you're gonna miss out uh, on the finished final video of the Manta. You don't want to do that. And make sure to check out the amazing sponsor. Spencer, now let's do a grand reveal! reveal.